Right, so now you've calibrated the position of the zero pitch, you should have a nice smooth pitch fade now. But the thing is, you're probably now going to have to adjust the pitch range because it's probably going to be slightly off now. So I'll show you how to do that bit next. So you're adjusting the actual pitch range to the, uh, get it back to the uh, factory setting, so that will be plus or minus 8%. Now I did show you how to adjust the pitch range in that last video I did but to be honest I missed out a few bits of information and I'd rather do it again so this time I can show you how to do it properly and how to actually get it back to the factory setting of plus and minus eight. Okay. Now this one is a lot more straightforward. All you're really going to need for this is a small Phillips screwdriver and your hands. So that's pretty much it. Um, so I'll quickly go into how you do this, but first of all I need to show you what you need to adjust, so let me quickly move the camera. Right, what you're looking for is this little blue pot here, okay? Now depending on the age of your turntable, it may be a silver one like this one, but either way it's got pitch written above it, so you know it's the one to adjust the pitch range. Okay, now you're going to need to adjust this. Um, it's going to require taking the platter off, adjusting, putting the platter back on, taking it off, adjusting, putting it back on, so on and so forth. So the easiest way to do this, if the camera wants to focus, thank you. Right, the easiest way to do this is to put the actual platter on, which I'm going to try and do one-handed, and it's really probably not going to work. Oh, okay, there we go. Right, so put the platter back on, and I don't know if you can see, yeah, there you go, you can see the actual um, pitch adjustment uh, pot in there. So you can actually get to it just through this little hole. So all you have to do is lean the screwdriver in, adjust it, but do make sure you switch it off every time you make the adjustment. Don't go sticking screwdrivers in there with it switched on because you can go shorting stuff out. So you can get to it from there. So what you need to do first of all is turn the deck on and start the uh, platter spinning. Now you can see the actual dots now, it's got a bit darker now. But what you need to do is, okay, you can see the dots there, you can see that big dot in the middle is perfectly stationary, that means that the pitch is at zero, okay? Now what we need to do is, is increase the pitch fader upwards, blurry, okay, keep coming up until we're at 6%, okay? Now at 6%, that top row of dots that one there that's moving that way slowly should be perfectly stationary. So what we need to do is we need to increase the pitch some more in very small amounts until that top row of dots becomes completely still. So we'll keep going there. Okay, about there. Okay, so those top row of dots are now perfectly still, they're not moving. Now that should happen at 6%, okay? Now as you can see on the little picture down here, it says there the top one plus 6. So when it's at plus 6, that top dot should be perfectly still, okay? Which it is now. Now if you look on the pitch fader, we're a little bit out here, okay? It should be happening at 6%, but it's happening at like 7%. So we're 1% out. So what we need to do, okay, is... Um, get the camera to not go blurry. Uh, right, so we've gathered that that top row of dots should be stationary when the pitch is at 6%, okay? So what you need to do is actually put the pitch at 6, okay? Okay, so once you've done that, you need to stop the table, turn the power off, okay? Really important, keep that power turned off while you're doing this. And then you need to lean in with here with the screwdriver and just adjust the pitch clockwise just a tiny amount, okay? Okay, so once you've done that, turn the deck on and start the deck. Now what you're looking to do is keep adjusting that screw in there, that pot, sorry, until the plane goes over and stops trying to make loads of noise and put me off. Sorry guys. Until that top row of dots is perfectly still, okay? So it's getting a bit slower, so let's stop that, power down. tiny bit more. Try again. Now that is almost there, okay? It's very, very slowly moving. So you've just got to really go back and just turn off. Always remember, really adjust it tiny amounts. Almost there. Right, okay, there we go. I've got it. So now the top row of dots is perfectly still and the pitch fader is at 6%. So at zero, we have the middle dot steady, 
at 6% we have the top one steady and then that means that is now configured to plus 8 and minus 8 and it's as simple as that so there you go, uh, with that done all you've got to do is put your plastic piece back in like so, put your five screws back in then put your slip mat and everything back on, set your deck up and you can now enjoy your new perfectly adjusted and calibrated pitch fader that's now spot on. So there you go, I hope this video has been a help. Uh, any information will be in the description below, uh, like the information about the multimeter and all that kind of stuff. So um, check that out before you watch the video to make sure that you've got everything uh, that you need. I'll put any other information in there that I didn't put in the video. So there you go. Um, thank you for watching. Nice one. Practice and enjoy. Right, so the pitch is now at zero. <laughs> right, now take your multimeter and shove it up whoever's arse that is for trying to phone me in the middle of doing this video. <sighs> right, so the pitch is at zero, so we're at the green light. Now, down here on the dots, if you pay attention to the... Oh, who's that bloody phoning me now? That better not be a cold caller. Right, so we've got the pitch is zero position calibrated up now. We've got the bass back on everything. So, with the range, when you... Oh, for crying out fuck. Can everyone just stop phoning me for one minute, please? And any information will be in the description. Now, if you've got any... Make it stop.